Hi guys, welcome to our video 3.3 formulas. The first kind of formula we're going to talk about are molecular formulas. And these are the kind of formulas that are the most commonly used. And they show which elements are in the molecule or in the compound and how many of each element there are. Sometimes you'll have parentheses involved and you'll have polyatomic ions or what's called functional groups that we'll see a bit later in the year. Sometimes those will be in parentheses. And when there's a subscript after the parentheses, so if we have uh, something in parentheses with a little number after it, this is the subscript, it's distributed to the elements inside the parentheses, just like in math class. So let's say you have OH2. That means there's two oxygens and two hydrogens. The two is distributed to both of them. we have here Al2SO43. The 3 is distributed amongst only what's in the parentheses. So in this molecule there's two aluminums. S1 times 3, so there's 3 sulfurs. O4 times 3, 12 oxygens. And this is review. We did this earlier in the year. Another kind of formula are structural formulas. These show what, how many, and where things are located. They show arrangement. Okay, so this would be a structural a structural formula for right, you have three carbons, C three H four. Could also be written as CH three. Or another way of writing a structural formula would be CH three, CH two, CH three. And this would be C, 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 H, H, H. This, this carbon has two hydrogens. This carbon has three hydrogens. So we have CH3, CH2, CH3. This type of structural formula will be referred to as a condensed structural formula. Another type of formula is what's called an empirical formula. The way I used to remember this when I was in school, an empirical formula is kind of like an experimental formula. And basically it gives the simplest whole number ratio of one element to another or to the other elements. All right? It's not necessarily going to be the actual formula. And you can obtain a, an empirical formula by simplifying the molecular formula. So if we have a molecular formula, N2O4, the same way you would simplify 2 over 4 in math class, as being 1 over 2, N2O4 simplifies to NO2. And it's, these empirical formulas are useful for interpreting the results of experiments. All right, that brings us to question time. Give the empirical formula for each of the following. Okay, remember, you're going to simplify just like you do in math class. All right, now thinking along those same lines, if you consider the empirical formula CH2, which of the following could be molecular formulas for it? Could CH3 be a molecular formula for it? Well, if we look at the ratio, CH2 is 1 to 2. CH3 is 1 to 3. It's a different ratio, so it cannot be the molecular formula for CH2. So give the rest of these a try. All right, that brings us to the end of 3.3 formulas. I will see you guys at school.